Hi everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the citation management platform Zotero. Zotero is open source, so all you have to do is go to their website, zotero.org, and you can download this platform for free. And one nice thing about it being open source is that you can continue to use it even after you leave CMU. So you're going to simply click on the download button. And then you want to complete both of these steps. You want to download the desktop application for your operating system of choice, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And then you also want to install the web connector. It's defaulting to Chrome, but you can also select the connector for other browsers. Once you do those couple of steps, you're going to go to register to create your account with your username and password. So then you can open up your desktop application and we're just going to set up our preferences, which you should only really have to do in the beginning and then you will be all set to start adding citations to your library. So we're going to go to Zotero up here at the top and then preferences. And we need to configure our sync settings. So if you go to the sync panel, you'll want to make sure that your account is linked here. And I'm going to suggest that you select this sync automatically option, as well as select the file syncing options down here. So basically, what we're telling Zotero is that we want it to sync all of the data as well as the attachments in our account to the cloud, as well as to other devices that we might be using. There is a limit as to how many PDFs you can add to your Zotero account, but it's very generous. And I think for the types of projects that you're working on during your time at CMU, you will probably have plenty of space in your account. If you ever do run out of space, you can simply unselect these sync attachment file options. And then it's just not going to sync the PDFs, but you would still be able to create your bibliographies with Zotero. So you're going to still have most of the functionality there. But I'll say that unless you're really running out of space, I would just start with these options selected here. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that we have basically just told Zotero that we want it to be automatically syncing our account. But occasionally you might go in here and just not see some items that you think you've added. And you can always tell Zotero to sync again. It's kind of like a refresh by selecting, or sorry, pushing the sync with Zotero.org button here. So this is just going to manually tell Zotero to go ahead and sync everything. And then in most cases, you will see the item that you expected to see there show up. Now that we have our account configured correctly, we are ready to get started by adding citations.